Hey, Don here. <clears throat> Getting ready for another live stream. Uh, this is SM58 on cam 1. Uh, SM58 on cam 2. I forgot to wave at cam 1. But they, I've checked them a minute ago. They're pretty good. Cams 1, 2. I guess I can wave at both of them. Yeah, it's the best I've seen in a while. Cam 1 on desktop. 2 on desktop. <coughs> and back to the desktop. And my website monitor is going to be part of the video. The video I'm making right now, system resources, the uh, <coughs> switch to the lapel. Okay, now we're on the lapel. Um, cam one in lapel, two in lapel, one and two, and uh, one on desktop, two in desktop. No other cameras plugged in. <coughs> Let's see. Did we go to the desktop? Or we're back on the desktop. Okay. System resources. Now let's go back to the SM58. Alright. <coughs> back on the SM58. Emma? Something wrong with uh, the mic. Uh oh. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's get off of it again. Oh, let's just switch off of it again. Check one, two. Check one, two. I wonder if that was there this whole time. Okay, check one, two. Check one, two. That's noise. Okay, let me stay on the uh, <clears throat> check one, two. I think I know what it might be. I've been set. I was just going to say I'm setting up. I'm trying to get set up for the um, dual output on my mixer. Um, so I have the uh, I have the uh, earphone output on my. <coughs> let me show on the camera. So my uh, mixer has my Behringer eight o. Phoenix 802 has mains output and it has a control room output and uh, of course there's a couple other ways to output sound but <clears throat> that's what I'm planning on using um, well, let's put it over there that's a power okay uh, well that's a DC power though that wouldn't interfere say AC power lines near your audio cables can introduce a lot of noise <coughs> so anyway I have um, what I have is normally I just have this, this cable's always plugged into the uh, computer, the two RCAs coming out of the, I mean, computer. Okay, so my um, my main outputs, this one down here, goes to the computer, to my Lenovo i5 that I normally, you know, always stream from. Uh, the phone's output, headphone's output, goes over here to the two RCA tape inputs on the mixer. And then what I use it for usually is just to, uh, I turn it on when I want to hear what's, you know, monitor the VM. You see it goes mic into the mixer and then mic and then out to the VM. That's what uh, these two, those are the, that's the outs. I can't, I can't keep my head straight. These are the main outputs. These are the inputs. <laughs> this is a headphone. And that is a foot switch over there. You can't see that. Uh, <clears throat> and the power, you can't see that either. Power for the input for the VM. Okay, so, um, Normally, I send the headphones over here, like I said, and then the control room goes, um, it goes to another cable that I unplug where I plug in my headphones. That's just so that uh, instead of plugging the headphones in here, I plug them in over there. Um, well, because I'm using the control room output mostly, uh, so that gets two, two quarter inch outputs, turns it down into a stereo, a 3.5 millimeter stereo for my headphones. Uh, <clears throat> that works or being able to hear what's coming out of the VM. Now I can just plug it in the headphones, but then I only hear uh, what's coming out of the mixer. And so I want to hear what my effects are like, you know, when I'm checking my sound, my compressor, noise gate, and a little bit of reverb. And uh, <clears throat> so what I, but with the control room output, I've never really used them. I've always known they were there. But, you know, well, I guess they could be for monitoring the signal, like if you had a production of some sort, well, whatever kind of, I mean, it could be a video production, but anyway, but also, 
I always thought they would be good for using to record. Now, normally when I did record, I would either use, uh, anytime I recorded just, you know, audio in a live, uh, when I was uh, mixing for a live band, I, I used, I tried out using the, uh, with the bigger mixers, you know, like the 16 or 32 channels, I tried using the aux, there was a lot of aux sends, and so I tried using the aux sends, because then you need one mix for your live sound, you need another mix for the tape. And I tried doing that, but one person can't do that. You can't, uh, one thing is too loud, even if you stick your headphones on, you can't still hear the mix, you know, the, the aux sends, uh, barely, depending on what, what you mix. But <clears throat> I always mix loud bands. So, um, so I, then the tape out was the next best thing because, and, it, and sometimes it got really good if it wasn't a loud band, like a, especially acoustic. The best one I remember getting was on a little acoustic. Well, it was led by acoustic, but they had electric guitar, but they did, the girl was a singer. She did not want that electric guitar hurt. <laughs> she, made, she kept saying that over and over. And, uh, and so anyway, I, I got a real good mix on it and just the way she wanted it. And then uh, I sent it to a cassette re tape, you know, recorder, just in my jam box, uh, my all the jam box. Uh, out of tape outputs and see that whatever you have in the mains now th these two that aren't plugged in that that's the tape outputs on this mix these are the tape inputs but they're rcas <coughs> they're just line level signals rcas and i sent them to my Ottawa jam box on the aux input it's a it was a real good recording nice live little live set and it was actually her last show i had never seen her before or met her it was her last show before she went overseas to do missionary work these were all i've mixed only for christian bands you know whatever style they were I didn't ever do any regular shows except well one time I worked on one and got paid <laughs> for a regular cover band <clears throat> for some big dinner or something. But um, anyway, you can also send the uh, control room to. Uh, I've tried it out before. You can send it off to you know a computer or whatever. I'm sending it to Mom's the AS Rock. Uh, I call it the AS Rock machine, the AS Rock motherboard. I'm sending it to that <coughs> and. Uh, Planning on, uh, I'm going to use it. I've done it before, but I'm going to. Usually, I don't use this audio though. Usually, I use my. Uh, I always used my phone three. Plug my lapels, which I'm talking on right now, and they're plugged into the Lenovo Y5. I use my lapels when they're plugged into phone three. Actually, it was the old single lapel that I used, but uh, you know, I bought this new dual lapel because <clears throat> it's. Uh, well, the other one acted like it was. I think that the cable was beginning to, you know. Uh, break uh, or the connection you was beginning to get you know sometimes it would work sometimes it wouldn't and usually it's either up at where it comes into the mics or down at the uh, connector uh, you know where the connector is <clears throat> but uh, I thought well for you know I spent I think I spent 12 or 15 dollars for this set and the other one was nine not ten dollars you know. I thought it's better just buy a whole mic <clears throat> and so and these ha and I'm glad I did because these sound better and I have two mics they're not they're mono they're not stereo but they're but I can take one and stick it, like when I'm describing the sound on a computer, which I do pretty often, you know how loud it is or something, I can take one off from my shirt and hold it up there instead of having to stick my face down there. So uh, I wired it all up, and now I'm doing my sound check. So I can see now, I don't know, there's probably been uh, this, I can tell there's probably some kind of no bad noise uh, in my uh, SM58. So I can't hear it, but, uh, well, I can if I, and go to the desktop. Let's, I'm going to get into the uh, go to the advanced audio settings. It doesn't matter which one of these you do use to get there, just one of them. And I'm going to get into this little mixer and you can turn on the uh, you can monitor, you can hear it. <coughs> now I'm going to make sure this is turned down enough so feedback. I want to hear the um, listen to both of them first. I guess I better mute the, the, it echoes real bad with the desktop audio turned on when you're doing Okay, now let me turn this one on, check one, two, if this was working, check, check one, two. All right, now I just want to hear the, uh, just for me to hear it over my speakers. Now I want to hear the uh, SM58. Now, uh, I'm going to turn it on. Yep. Got a bad uh, cable noise. Oh, it might be in that Behringer. I'm going to have to move my mic.
Oh, it didn't show what I'm doing, did I? So what I'm doing is just twisting these cables and taking them out and putting them back in. Because what happens, twisting them helps because often you get oxidation. You can take them out and putting them back in. But I can tell it's coming from the headphones. So, uh, <coughs> And it's just, I guess it's just a, it's not such a bad noise, but it's enough to, uh, well, of course, I wouldn't use it like this, but it's enough to track to control them. Yeah, I have to do that. That doesn't make it go away either. You know what? Watch out what button I pull, I will get a horrible feedback. So it's definitely the headphones signal that we're getting the noise on. It may be that mom's machine, you know what, I think it has a buzz in the audio and the sound card, period. So this may not work at all. <coughs> so, it doesn't even go away though when I unplug. When I turn off control room to check one two, <coughs> check, check one two. two, could be that it's not even related. Um, to me plug this up, it's always possible. I'm switching the different effects. Uh, on the uh, <coughs> that might be something fun to play with there, but not right now. But yeah, it is coming out of the. Uh, um, let's see, is there a volume? Yes, there's a volume on the head. Check, check one, one two, two, check one two, check one two. Doesn't make any difference. Check one two. I don't even know which way's up. <coughs> There's no indicator on it. <coughs> I'm sure you're getting a bad echo with both mics turned on, but I can't help that right now. Check one, two. Check one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And a half. I put it right in the middle because <coughs> you know if you're at the top of the gain, then uh, I'd rather put the gain in the mixer. I know I don't have it turned on because it's not working. You look over my mixer and see if I just made a mistake of some sort. <coughs> Okay, so here's what I'm going to do then. Let's just, <coughs> now let's, if it goes away, I'm going to unplug the control room. Yep. The left side. Oh, doesn't matter. It's just too noisy. What I'm not understanding is why that noise is coming back to the uh, <coughs> I don't understand why that noise is coming back to the um,
go ahead and mute. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, now my SMPTH should be normal. That's first, that's very important. So let's check, check one, two. Hello, check. 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 Hello, check. One, two. Hello, check. check. Check one, two. Okay, just the SMPTH. All right. <coughs> check one, two. All right, now I'm going <coughs> to mute to 58. <coughs> No, let's leave it on because it's, it's a whole. whole yeah, yeah, let's leave, leave it on. on. And, and you're, you're still, still going to be an echo, but <laughs> you can hear me. <coughs> Everything I'll set the SM58 over there on the desk so you can hear me. Seven in my keyboard. Uh, yeah, something got on my glasses. Okay, uh, let me think about this. There's <coughs> another way to. Uh, it's sound out. Oh, okay. Mm. I hadn't thought about this. I could bypass the mixer. It'd probably still be, uh... <clears throat> Boy, that's hard to get loose. Okay, so I can bypass the mixer. And uh, this, and I think that that headphone, I don't know, it could just be an electrical ground problem, you know. Um, we're getting a, a ground noise. Or actually, well, these things aren't grounded, so that's, <clears throat> well, usually you use a ground lift to get rid of something like that, but these things are not grounded. So <clears throat> what I might be able to do is uh yeah i think i'll what i might be able to do is go straight from the uh earphone output on the v amp to that computer i don't see any reason why not <clears throat> let's see well i'll leave i was going to plug my normal cable back in but i won't do that until i'm sure that's what i want on my phone. Now the way, yeah, the way I've done this before and had good audio to it also was, and I am using the phone three again. It, the battery swelling went down a whole lot, and it's on right now. I didn't, but I haven't set it back up in this machine here. So uh, I had it on because I was well. I made a quick video and then it was uploading to, uh, but I could just plug in my lapels to this phone and turn on that. But it wouldn't work in here. I don't have it set up. But it would work on mom's machine. But I think while I'm at it, <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, try this out because I believe I have the adapters. Um, let's see. Did I move? This is not going to affect the SM58. Won't pick this up. This is going to buy. This is going to go the normal way for the SM58. <clears throat> you know, going through the mixer, be up to my computer. And then the earphones will be the extra signal, wherever they are, <laughs> coming out. But here's, and then I'm just going to join those two cables together. Now they're they're both RCA, luckily, RCA connectors, male. But uh, you need a conversion, two feet, you know, a converter with two females. I, think. I either have one in here, or yeah, I have two of them. I thought I did. So now I can convert. I don't have a way to listen to the, uh, I'll figure that out in a minute, <clears throat> just realized that. When I go to set up the other machine, I need to hear the sound on it so I don't get it, you don't, can't just assume that it's going to work. Okay, so, yeah, if I patch these together, then uh, just from this time, if it sounds good enough, if it sounds real bad, then I won't do that. But so what I'm doing, if you can see what I'm doing, because I've got to move this sound thing to where I can tell. I can turn that off. Okay, so I'm turning off the monitoring of the sound and closing that window. There we go. Now, here's what I did. Uh, 
female to female in between the two RCA males. And uh, now the signal is routed over there to mom's machine, AS Rock. <clears throat> and when I get on it and do a sound check on it, then I'll find out if it's going to be buzzing and terrible. But let's see, make sure that just the act of doing that didn't introduce buzz. Back. It may be sending buzz from her computer over here into. There may be a back feed <laughs> coming back through. So let's see if it if there is. Then <clears throat> we uh, can't do that at all. I might have figured this out before and forgot. <clears throat> I just thought today we're wondering. Uh, I knew that I know I've listened to the control room and it's kind of noisy and I didn't because I thought about doing it this and I thought well it's too noisy to use I don't want to use it remember that part okay so uh, turn on the SM58 check, check one, one two, two. Yeah. now I'll turn off the mic aux too because you know then during the recording you won't get a good representation unless I turn it off now I'll go back to the advanced properties of the desktop so I can show what I'm doing I just want to see the whole screen there. Now I want the number second one. Check one, two. Ah, good. For some reason, sending that back out the uh, sounds pretty good too. Check one, two. Let's go ahead and listen to both of them now. Make sure they're all okay. Check one, two. There's both of them. There's. Oh, it never. It won't. Uh, Keyboard shortcuts won't work until you click down in the outside of that window. Check, check one, two. two check, check one, two. two. Check one, two. Check, check. Go check. That one seems a whole lot quieter all of a sudden. I wonder if me unplugging that cable. No. Normally I always have this one plugged in. Let's, see, let's plug it in and see. Where is it? There. I don't think it's doing anything. Let's see, do I have, yeah, I've got that all turned off. I could have bumped a, no, I, I, I wouldn't still want to say slider because that's what they used to be when I had a good mixer with a slider. It's a good mixer. I just like sliders better than knobs. Let me look up there and see. Okay, I uh, what's well, picking up? Um, <clears throat> everything is set like it's always been, and but I don't have that cable plugged in. That may have been a bad thing to leave plugged in. That might have been uh, causing some sort of a, <clears throat> not a real feedback, you know, no noise in the audio, but a. Uh, it could have been degra somehow degrading the signal, causing a some sort of signal loop that was degrading my signal on the. Uh, <clears throat> oh wait, I'm on the. Yeah, I'm on the number two. Not okay. Now, now then, let's listen to both. Them. Them. Check, check one, one two. two. Check. check. It, it looks, looks to me like the SMP8 could be a tad, tad bit louder than the other. It depends, it depends on, on what tone of voice I'm using. Okay. okay. So, uh, check one, two, check, check one, two. two, check one, two. <laughs> I'm going nuts. Okay, check one, two, two. Okay, now let's turn it all off. It seems, I think it's good. I'm not going to, I'll listen back to the recording. Can you hear the jet plane? We live about, well, the, the compressor does a good job of cutting out noises, but I might, might be able, able to hear what the... Uh, the uh, compressor does a pretty good job of cutting out noises, but I usually don't have the window open, but it's a real nice day, 76 degrees in here and 61 outside. <clears throat> but... Uh, and I am with all these extra, and then another big machine that uh, that 8300 <laughs> processor running AMD. I didn't want, you know, it was just a good day to do this and have the window open. 
Uh, we live about 15 miles from, what is it? I don't know what they call it now. It used to be Carswell Air Force Base all my life, and then 10 or 20 years ago they changed it to Naval, something, something Naval Air Station. Anyway, <clears throat> they still run, fly the uh, jet, you know. Well, I don't know what that was, but it's that's a fighter jet. That's what that was. <clears throat> they still fly F-16s. I, I work, I used for many, quite a few years back in the 70s and 80s, I worked at General Dynamics where they built F-16s. And so I know an F-16 quick, you know. If I go look out the window, I can know it from the bottom or top or front or whatever. Well, maybe, <clears throat> maybe not the front. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I would probably know it maybe, but, I'm, uh, you know, other machines are kind of, other sis planes are similar. So anyway, <clears throat> um, you know, that might be a, a, a blessing in disguise there. I may have always needed to unplug that. There's been a few times when I got an odd noise like that, and I just twisted the cables on the V amp, and then it quit. And so it could be, I hope not, something, some component, you know, going bad in the V amp, and it used to stop that from happening, but now it's beginning to happen. But I hadn't thought, I don't know if I ever thought about it, but I haven't tried this before. So, I, you know, I do actually have two separate outputs. It's just that I do know when I listen I, when I listen to that um, headphone output with just a set of headphones, it is noisy a little bit, so it's not near as good as the main output on it. So uh, <clears throat> we'll see if it's acceptable. I have to go get on the other machine to test that. <clears throat> well, and of course, I was thinking after all this, it might be an interesting video, uh, I'll, although it's kind of mixed up, but uh, of how to do, you know how how you can do things and get and troubleshooting. Uh, but then the other machine, and, but I'm not streaming, so I can just have to upload this if I decide it's worth it. And so then if I make another video over there on that machine, then I could, uh, doing my test, I just realized, yeah, I can do my sound test as a video like I'm doing right now. And so let me turn on my desktop audio in case I, you know, forget. <coughs> so I want it to be on when I need it. Okay. Um... I think we're good here. So now all we got to do is uh, last thing I didn't. I guess I hadn't done is test the uh, music out, and this, and then I'll, I'll be able to tell if this thing is ready to stream on. Mm -hmm. 